Thank you. Okay, next news. In Mississauga, Canada, mosques face backlash for broadcasting evening prayers during Ramadan. The city of Mississauga passed a motion to temporarily exempt mosques from a noise bylaw so they can broadcast the sunset prayer call over loudspeakers until Ramadan ends on May 24th. Multiple cities across Canada, including Toronto, have done the same for their mosques. Uh, the intention was to send just to, the intention was to foster a sense of community for Muslims who are barred from going to mosques during Ramadan due to the lockdown. An open letter calling to reverse this decision argues that broadcasting the Islamic call to prayer amounts to quote violation of human rights. Quote, those who would like to celebrate religious holidays should be allowed to do so without infringing on the rights of others, the letter said. So annoying that p religious people think, of course, this is something beautiful and everybody should celebrate. Like, look how we're, you know, doing something that brings Muslims to care and together. Like, you're imposing your religion on everybody and you don't even see it. Like, everybody has to listen to your nonsense, like Islamic call to prayer. And it's like, if anybody else did that, you guys would be called. Imagine if we had like loudspeakers on our rooftops and we're like, your God is fake. Your God is fake. And we had it like <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, anybody look, you see that like, wow, these atheists are imposing. And, you know, we get accused of imposing our views on other people, even though we're posting our content on our own YouTube pages, on our own mm -hmm. website, on our own podcast. Nobody had on our own books. And nobody has to come read them or look at them and we're like, oh, why can't you let people believe? We're like, we're not going to you. You're coming to us. And they, they don't say that about these other Muslims who are like, hey, everybody, like, we don't care that you don't, you're not Muslim or you're not interested. Here's some Islamic call to prayer. Like, and we are, we're all supposed to celebrate that. And they're such hypocrites. They're such hypocrites. They impose their views on everybody. And every time you even push back against that, they're like, oh, why are you pushing your beliefs on us? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. This annoys me a lot because I the reason why I get so triggered by this is because I grew up in Iran mm -hmm. and the morning call to prayer is so annoying to people that are not Muslim, especially during, you know, Ramadan and Ashura and Tarsua. You just have to 4 a.m. in the morning. Oh, my God. It just blasts their speakers. People it's get more better to so, pray than sleep. Uh, <laughs> No, it, it, like during religious times, it's not just a mosque. Your religious neighbors started buying their own speakers and like they just blasted at 4 a.m. Oh. in the fucking morning. And it's, like, I know. So, I, it's I, so annoying. Yeah. I know where my aunt lives in Morocco. There's a mosque right near there and you can hear it. But I was going to say, like, I was looking at both aspects of this, like, People who were saying, oh, this is so beautiful. And then other people who are like, this is unfair and terrible. So like, for example, an Arab news said, in a groundbreaking acknowledgement of multiculturalism and religious tolerance, Ontario <laughs> Mississauga City Council passed a resolution suspending the noise control, allowing the mosque to sound the Maghreb, right? Okay, so, and, but, so that was their, their position on it. But then there was, um, um, an article from the new Arab, which said that some um, for soldiers could get PTSD from hearing the call to prayer, that it could cause them to have PTSD and yeah. that they uh, broadcasting it could trigger veterans to uh, uh, you know, their PTSD. He, and, um, that she received, this person received a lot of posts and calls and emails opposing this decision of oh, the mayor, sorry. And um, then she said, while people are entitled to their own opinion, there is zero place for hate or intolerance. So I find it really interesting that when people say that they oppose this, that is categorized as hate or intolerance. It's ridiculous. It's Really interesting. There were several petitions online demanding that this decision to allow this exception to the noise um, bylaw was reversed. And those petitions have been taken down for violating the hate speech community mm -hmm. guidelines. 
in what? Canada. Yep. Yes. Canada. It's crazy. Hate speech for saying that I don't want like loudspeakers listening to mm -hmm. the call to, Islamic call to prayer. Are you ugh. right? Okay, and like, so then there's all these articles about how this is about gratitude. For those of us engaged in anti-racism work, it's difficult <sighs> to forgive those who promote fear and discrimination, you know, in our community. Uh. Which and this makes me really angry because first of all. Islam is not a race. Oh, what a concept. Mm. So, I mean, this what? Is... So it's this it's this thing that they want to shame you, like, you know, someone calling you a racist, so someone's going to shame you mm. in that same way by saying, you know, that, you know, you're an Islamophobe or you're, you know, and they even say you're a racist, but I just want to go to these people and they take like a giant loudspeaker and just read the Quran right in their face loud and just like blast it and be like, if you even, if you even like show a little bit of a discomfort right now and just like just a tiny bit, I'm going to be like fucking bigots, like enjoy it. I'm going to pray in your goddamn face and like enjoy every fucking second of it. Say it's beautiful. <laughs> Say it's beautiful or else you're a Fucking racist, you bigot. Anyways, uh, Shopham is saying atheists on their own page say God is fake and everyone gets offended. But when religious people do the same, they call it wholesome and true religion. All. But Shopham, it's not even the fucking same. It's not the same. They are spreading it in a public place. They're like harassing people in a public. Like, like we, uh, you can't get if you're if you're there, you can't get away from it. If you don't like what we say. You, you can block our page. You don't have to read our books, but they feel like they have the right to, like, you don't, you can't get away from them. By the way, Smitty had the, Smitty saying, um, you need to invest in some loudspeakers to blast out firing noises in the same time. Yeah. Uh, no, it's do something that you can claim that it's, um, deeply held belief, deeply held belief, satanic, do some satanic, read out a satanic Bible. The like, satanic say, temple does do that. But Ooh. then they usually have, you know, Christians come with a bullhorn and they, you know, cast them out and, you know, are trying yeah, to get do, this loud. Let's just have like everybody get like if Muslims are doing it, let's just everybody do it. Let's just have loudspeakers. Everybody just start he, deeply held belief. Just like talk about how much you you hated the last seasons of Game of Thrones. Say this is my <laughs> deeply held belief. <laughs> <laughs> Last speaker, uh, secular, uh, secular atheism foundation is saying Islam is not a race. Question mark Islamophobia triggered, triggered. I say, but we like this is like we are. I thought we are way past this. I thought like the whole woke people have gotten like they're not doing. Are they still accusing people of racism because we've been speaking about like oh Islam not like it's been ten years now. Are we still that far behind? Like I don't even say to people like Islam is not a race because it's like. Like, haven't we gotten over this? Like, are we still that far behind that we need? It to sounds like you need to go to Mississauga and count and sort some things out. <laughs> well, it's yeah. Ramadan, so now it's fetishization. Yeah. Month, oh, you know? yeah. Okay. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So